Oh, there's the stuff. Alright, let me go and take care of these guys. Can't tell what the heck's happening. Okay. Oh, the fireworks are All right, so I'm all done. I need to aid everyone. All right, the stream looks okay, so we're fine. I owe you one. Would have gone away myself if not for Severin shoving me aside. Dang, Severin's an ass, dude. Yeah, is this everyone that you talk to? If you hadn't come, my Dodo would have been cooked. Mm, cooked Dodo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seven Sancho. Huh? The way he flew out there, I was sure he sold us down the river. Damn, Seven. Seven really is just being an ass, dude. Fucking hell. Alright, Severin, time to cast more doubt. Press X to doubt. You saved me, mates, and for that I owe you. Suppose I should be ashamed of cleaning my own mess. But a pirate knows no shame. I have no qualms about going back on my word. I'm only giving you the sack because I like the cut of your jib. Take it to Austin and send him my regards. Okay, whatever. Like, freaking weirdo. Alright, let me take the sack of oranges. Gear done. Okay. Now we're going back down. So we're going to... Going to the checkpoint. Alright. I'm definitely, like, really enjoying, like, the way that, uh... Like, things are playing out. But, like, the battle system and everything. Pretty simple. Mo and Mo travel ones has to eat these bloody and bruised each day. They tell me the John's on holy them at the rogue. It pays me to do nothing, but we need every man we have just to hold the gap, son. You do so a great service where you're doing the thin yells on population for us. If you clear out, say three of their nest, we'd all be in your den. Okay. <laughs> with the people here. <laughs> <laughs> what have we here? A delivery from someone for a bomb is scheduled? How that is the first time for everything. Well, you look at that. Not a single one missing either. And the only ones not here, here are those bagmen. I'll miss them one bit. Here's still one's payment out full. Well, you, I can trust they'll reach in. Alright, so we got this over here. I think that's just a fate, right? So, it's not really the big, not really that big a deal, right? It's more of a leveling thing, right? Yeah, so it just uh, activates the fate. Okay. Got the Wulu. <laughs> They're so cute. Maybe I can just tell. I think I can just tell her back at this point, honestly. Back to some of her farms. <laughs> okay, so. I'm always getting fucking lost here. It's like we're just running this one direction, so. Whatever. Hey, Starwarren. Oh my god, back in one piece! That's a relief! How did you fare, Tarantula? Did you slay it? Here's the money. Oh my god, cash money, yes! This is what I was aiming for! It looks to all, all be all what I was owed, alright? Though I'd be telling you false if I claim that I had not held up more hope for Severin. Severin's such an ass, dude. I was even willing to overlook the skimming off the top, but to sell us all short in favor of those godforsaken goblins. 
<laughs> he too well to find yourself around that two guild cheat. If he leaves his own mates for dead, there's no time what he did to you. Honestly though, like damn. Alright, so this is more magic defense. I mean like I don't really need that. This is more disciple of war. It's more important. Skier done. Think. Let me go and like check everything here. Oh, recommended here. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because I haven't even like, put on the. Oh, now I don't look like Shrek anymore. I. Right, what are this? What are the fucking sleeves though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm the corn guy now. Fucking scarecrow. Blast! At this rate, the crops will never be ready for harvest. If only we had black loam, just a bit could send the stocks soaring. I love the turnip ep stocks. I'll bet Rotweeda knows where he might find some. Perhaps he might pay her a visit in the orchard. Fucking breaking our ankles, just jumping off. I love doing that. Damn it. Okay. Hey, Choco will keep. Um, hello. Well met, Traveler. My interesting Choco partner. Uh, do not tell me. This is your first visit to the stop. I shall update my register with your name so you may access this location in the future. So, okay, cool. It's the porters. Oh, this is just the rental Choco box. That's nice. But you still have to pay for that, though, right? Pay for what? The Choco bows. Like, renting them? Yeah, you still have to pay for them, but they're, like, super cheap. Ah. Uh. They only work, though, if you go to, if you go to your other, like, um... Say you want to go to the next city on the Chocobo, you have to go talk to that city's Chocobo key. Oh, uh, okay. To, like, unlock it. Alright, so we're going back to this orchard, or Tweeda. That gherkin's got a head of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any black loam. But if you dare to pinch some from the cook pot, then be my guest. Just mind that you don't get trampled upon by the aurochs that dwell there. Once you've three bushels of it, take the black loam to uh, your frip your wall at Tiller's Rest. He'll know what to do. Alright, so we got that done. And now, we're just going back to uh, Limsa, right? Got some stuff we can do here. Limsa, Lomansa. Yeah, I think we are just going back to Limsa, so. Alright. And might as well just kind of like figure out where we're going to go, see if there's anything we can get done. Let's head back. Why is it so hard to like, you know, find my way in the middle of the night? Jesus. Like, I don't really understand like exactly how like the day-night cycle works in this game. It's just like, it just like, kind of slowly goes back and forth. I'm the corn man now. I'm finally free from the whole Shrek scenario until we get back to town. <laughs> are there are they like actual like? Just looks at you disappointed. <laughs> They're just like like how dare you disrespect Shrek like that? <laughs> are they like are those like actual players just sitting there or are they like uh? Like stands or something. Um. So it's probably somebody multi-box. So they have like eight instances of the game open on their computer. Oh. With eight different characters. Oh my god. So weird. That's usually how that is. Yeah. I think I can. Are they still there? It looks like they're still there. Kind of looks like. Oh my god, they are. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. 
Let's figure out where we're gonna go. Fucking hell, dude. Alright, we've got all this in the upper decks and all that, whatever. Um, it's Black Loom in the cook pot, huh? So I can go and check this right here. What? I have to go back to middle and you see? Oh, whatever. Alright, fine. I thought we were supposed to go back here, but whatever. It's, it's fine. Just go back. Uh, at least we got to see the uh, Shrek squad again. <laughs> The Shrek Squad. I'm six levels above the fate? Huh, that's interesting. I mean, I don't really need the experience, so whatever, but... Let's see. Oh, we need to slay the nest, too. So I might as well get this done, right? While we're here. Yeah. Well... Ew, God. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking at these, I'm just imagining, like, what the hell, like, would this be like IRL, though? Like, God. It's, like, the worst. Like, these, like, fucking flying fish, like, floating above the water. <laughs> It's like fucking adding a whole nother level to Okay, let's get this done. Alright, we're good. Still need one more though. Uh, should be one over up east part of it, I think. Let's look at that then. <laughs> look at the fish, just like sticking its head in the fucking rocks. <laughs> Here I am safe. My only regret is not being able to see the crystal grapes in this game. A sight to behold. <laughs> All right, I think we're good to go. It's just time to start moving. Let's go all the way over there. Like, sometimes these quests are so, like, unclear, though. Like, it really is. Just, like, sometimes it's just kind of like, oh, you need to go over to this area or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Even though, like, you usually assume, like, I want to, like, go back to Limsa and, like, get it from someplace else, but whatever. Uh, well, probably, it's probably best if I go over here and just cross the river and then go around. So, should be fine. Alright. Yeah, we can also like turn in that one quest too, so should be fine. Got the yellow jackets. Alright, hello. Alright, potions. Yeah, here you go. Here's your stuff. 
Thank you. Every time I hear the quest complete thing, I remember I just think back to when you were streaming, and then like the quest complete would play, and then it would like be like new quest or something. It'd be like da 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 da, and then it would play like ten times because you're like, accepting all the quests. Yeah, with um, the retainers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just keep going to the menu, and they keep playing the stupid noise. <laughs> Right. Dang, this like, it's what's happening here? Oh, it's this place. Oh, so this is where I like last left off, in like my original playthrough, like this specific area, right? Gotcha. If I'm a tank, I'm supposed to be taking the damage. But I mean, whatever. Are right, good. I mean, I can take you on too. I remember struggling in this area because I, I was like having a hard time getting used to the battle system, but I think that was just because I was doing a keyboard and stuff, so. Whatever, we're fine. Got our black loam. I'm, I am glad that's finally light out, so I'm like not gonna be getting as lost as like when I'm in the dark, so. Yeah, in my original playthrough too, like I ended up like doing like all of, like the other quests. I feel, cause like there was no other like available side quests from like what I was looking at, right? Versus here, so but yeah. Now we're being chased, whatever. I can't jump off. Let me jump off, please. <laughs> no, it's not fair. <laughs> Yeah, because this is the, like, pier area. Like, the sky left. Alright, might as well accept this quest while we're kind of just in this area. At Tiller's Rest. Where is that again? Okay, so that's gonna be like a little to the east, so that's fine. Alright, let's go. Let's get it on. I feel like I'm like always going the wrong way. I'm always getting so turned around in here. I gotta look at your map. <laughs> oh, I, I see the icon for the tank thing now in the upper left. So that's how I don't know it's like still on. Yeah, that red symbol. Yeah, and I technically don't need that unless I'm, like, with others, but I mean, I may as well keep it on, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Alright. See what's going on here. With Frawal. No, it's not... Alright. 
Ah, even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. There you go. But a bigger bit, but a bit of this black lum ought to change all that. I haven't seen any in ages. Gathering black limbs not for the weak will, nor for the weak stomach, eh? Huh? Ha ha ha! Oh, don't tell me, Garton and Rochford, uh, neglected to mention where black lum comes from. Well, sure you figured out when you're on from the cloying stand, she comes from the Arach's lair of our places. Um, well, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that your efforts have brought us to the black loam, and we can expect a bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. Alright, let's get our wristbands. Uh, I mean, we might as well just get strength and dexterity, right? That's the tank thing, right? Works best for our class. Well, dexterity is for uh, ninja. Uh, and we got a new skill. It's got our uh, stuns turn. Oh, nice. Alright. So, let me go and do the whole character thing and just do recommended gear. I like that, but I mean, no. Well, I guess you don't have anything new. That's fine. Whatever. Let's get stuff done. Confounded pirates. They know nothing of telling, only kill it. Steal enough shovels to melt and fortune axes of all things. The bite in the hand, the fees them, the manger furries. I'd love to teach those curs a lesson no beans myself. I have sworn a style one that I'll fight no more. So I need you to bring back our farm tools, make sure those dogs here put their song. Alright, God, take back some farm tools. Alright, so. Our ground. Oh, here we are. I remember this part. Alright, so, let's get this done, start our whole thing here, start attacking everyone, so. Alright, good. Okay, we're good. Let's go back. Let's run. Run, run, run. I wonder what those sea dogs will try and steal when there's no harvest. Alright, so let's hand that over. Ah, uh, good to see the tools back in in serviceable condition, which would be more than we can say of Severn when we get our hands on him. The wretch likely had a role in the theft, I mean, Severn's an ass, dude. Spout of me and the pirates in secret, I did. I can't care less if the waster won't work, but when he consorts with cut purses that take our tool ways, he's crossed the line. So I want not to know what sort of scalabi he's dealing with. Tech wartime, would ya? Alright. Let's go back to Stellwin. Just, just gotta go back to... Golden all area, so Summerford Farms. <laughs> Literally just like a home base at this point. <laughs> oh my god, like pirates waking up for like tools? Prefile did not. I did well not to take matters into his own hands. Last thing I need is, like, blood on my crops. But I'll be damned. If Severn thinks he can take us for fools, his treachery won't go unpunished. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we have this. The Labrys. And then, okay, that's not what we're using. Yeah, we'll just get this. It's fine. Alright, so. Let's, let me see if we can just. Get this done. Get our recommended gear, so. 
There we go. I've like come to expect a great deal from you, lad, and you've never once let me down. Such a queen. Yet yeah, what I'd ask of you now is goes beyond aught what I've asked before. Would you hear my plea all the same? Like it eases my mind to have your ear. You're no doubt familiar with that scandal seven by now. Well, the scheme and scapegrace is at it again. Since that later came from him, he's been skulking about oh, in that manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's entered, now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with an area word to anyone. Like I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but someone tells me this is different. I ain't exactly damnin. And but when I last heard words with him, he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. Oh my god, hunty slay. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. Like, so I was hoping he might hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. Thanks, babe. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. Suppose he needs, needs to remind me a bit of my younger self. Like, suffice it to say, I'd rather he did come with a sticky end. As for how to find him, I'd try asking Gwenudia at the Aetherite. She was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. God, that voice in the dialogue is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that insolent cur. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rival set out for a woad whisper cannon not long ago, singing about drink themselves stupider. Chicky saw us that I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it was that pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure to give him a cuff around the ear for me, will you? <laughs> All right, let's go. Right, uh, let's see where our we're gonna be going. Uh, it's gonna be up in here. Not, not just have to try. Trying to figure it out. Um, I mean, it should be like oh, right here. Okay. All right. If only I could place like. If I could place, like, beacons, that'd be kind of cool, you know? You can kind of? I know you, it's, um, with the mouse, you control right-click, but I forget what you do on the controller. Uh-huh. But you can put, like, a little flag. It doesn't show, like, a beacon on, on, like, um, like a way marker or whatever. It's just on the map. Uh-huh. Uh, let me jump! No! It's like literally, like, this is just what I'm gonna do every single time I come to these stairs. It's just, I wanna jump. Like, please, just let me. Like, they let me at fucking Summerford Farms, but not here. There's Aylmer. Oh my god, it's Aylmer! Of all the dirt, deceitful, downright destiny deeds that slippery bastard's done! Claiming to take the lads out for a drink, only to lead us straight into a bloody trap, but don't get no lower than that. Of course, I have learned to stay a step ahead of old Severin, so I was ready, but the others weren't so lucky. You've got to help them. Alright, let's get it done. Yeah, this is the one I was like... I, yeah, we're approaching that battle that I didn't go into, because I was just like, I don't want to spoil myself, right? So yeah, this is where I was last time. Got some water sprites. There's Aramhus, okay. It's ADU. 
My axe may as well have been a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better or the sorrow bastards in there are done for. Sam might have thrown on us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give his life for us. I'd soon bow to a fish like the bean that can have ambassador stand to arms. Oh, you're gonna fight with us. Oh, nice. All right, let's proceed. Let's get it done. Oh, we are at, we're literally at level thirteen. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> A true knave, you betray even yourself, servant. God. Ugh. We are prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provided us with suitable replacements. That was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betray their servant ravers twice. You will not do so a third time. And there, here I am, the corn man. Carambine to protect her only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. It worth still be, we shall take it. Oh my god, send Daniel. <laughs> oh moon for the voice of creation. Send unto me a creature of the abyss. My thrills command, so that I might smite. Mine enemies. <laughs> My God, this fucker, Jesus. All right, let's go. Let's do this shit. Uh, do, do, do that. Stun you. Start hidden. Oh my god, I'd say beat him already? Hell yeah. That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. God, fucking Fan Daniel! Show your face! <laughs> Here's our stalker. <laughs> the snake slithered away. I'm trying to figure out a new voice for I'm only glad he didn't have a chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. Yalla's pirates do not belong to any of the known Molesians factions. Whom then do they serve? The Beast Tribe? Surely not. By the time when their appearance coincides all too innately with the recent surging Sahagin and Cobalt activity, something's afoot. The question is why? Could it be that the tribe's plan is some of the primals? Twelve help us should prove so. Liam's will be hard pressed to keep a single prime on a bay line low too. But all's in speculation. I must needs find evidence. Find all the arts. Oh my god, they're gonna summon Ravana. The seas continue to rise. 
while the lesser moon continues to fall. It's fucking Majora's Mask up in here. And ill my ill, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. It is as Louis Vuitton. Oh my god, I love that brand. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> the common chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable. Blurring the bounds between material and archaeal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they're not here yet. The time be against us. I hope she'll ever be on our side. Never did the Queen of Shalyan ring war true. Eden's promise is upon us. Never did I dream that I would possess the means to see Aether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Shalyana seem commonplace. Ugh. Um. Oh my god, it's fucking, uh, the girl from Final Fantasy VII. Here, for you. Have you come for the festivities? It's the girl who dies in VII. <laughs> The Data Maelstrom officially makes the Great Hole in the Sea its training ground during the celebrations. <laughs> the fucking mess. <laughs> Wait, I just thought it was not Aetheric Flow, but Wayne doesn't mean when I. See song growing up her hips. Gonna go stuck in the sky and find out. We read your mind, Ishtola. We stalked you. <laughs> How does it feel? Why are we here? Can you walk? Tis I, we're grabbing no, he'll lure me. I'm a student, I'll inform the Commodore. You collapse from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered, corn boy? Save right here has surprised me of all that transpired. His can will shed some light upon how it can be attacked by a golem of all things. Y'all, a golem is a mindless automation. An inert save when commands me otherwise. Common pirates could not help control such a thing, so I can't all its workings. But then those tattooed ranches, I know common pirates. They're the meanings of the Sahagin. As to their purpose, well, I shall get to the bottom of it. But first I must escort Saber back to his place of employment. I uh, dare say Stalin will be wondering what's become of him. He'll be all like, Yas Queen, it's time to slay this guy. And you too for that matter. I'll be a word of him of your preservation, but I am certain that he would like to thank me in person. Pray pay the man of easier. Ah, he told me of you, but perchance he did not tell you me. My name is Ishtola. I am a naturalist of sorts, surveying the ether in the hope that I might offer up some clue as to our protect man. I'd say I owed you my life, but that didn't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. Tis a debt I can never pay, but I'll not make things worse by running away. Take me to some of some farms and I'll face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you see, forgive me. May happen she'll have a chance to speak again when I have marshaled my thoughts. Until I pass across, next, farewell. Bye, y'all. <laughs> so you can hear a cowgirl at this point. All right, so we are going back to Stalwar. I'm just let's just return, right? So Like, oh my god, no, I knew you would turn. Like, Ishtan delivered seven a bit ago. Tales of here and heroic deeds for Sejo. The rest came to shovel them back to tell. The lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. 
It's me who's to blame for that. That and the rest. I was once a reaper, a serpent reaver. A thrall to Sahigan? Hair on tails. Yuck, reavers may look insane and act like pirates, but they're not the fishbacks flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We've got a code, see, but the reavers have never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law by the Lamincins. I'd only just take my oath when our captain bent the knee to this new Sahagan masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home. Some of our farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long around here, and words seem spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the reavers offer me a way out instead. My freedom is for exchange my mates. Blade. I forgot the letter. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wasn't bloody thinking. Too busy soiling myself. Like, I hate what you got there in the end, didn't you? When time came, you made the right decision. The mentee lives me, but I hear him talking how you stood up to the ravers at the last, or how you tried to give your life to save theirs. But that is me, no deed. However good can told for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that. I do. So I'm gonna hand myself over to the Hell Jackets. I'll bring, I'll bring shame to the farm no more. <laughs> you hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope you're scared back here someday. There'll always be a place for you at somewhere from farms, lad. And I'll be a losing dead stone. <laughs> Hello, Skulton. Mm -hmm. Alright, I was just making sure you're there. Like, I owe you a debt too, Terrence. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving the men on my farm. Thanks, Queen. If I could ask one more favor to you. Just, just one more after the 15,000 you did for me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this. Tell Badaran what's happened from start to finish. I'm certain he'll put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know the Yellow Jackets will listen to. Well, I reckon I've asked all I possibly can of you. Safe travel, son. Thanks, Queen. Bye. Bye, bitch. Do we finally leave the farms? We're finally done with the farms. Now we have to go back all the way back to the Drowning Wench. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what is wrong with this island? Alright, doesn't look like we have anything big left to do right now. It's just kind of like, let's just go back. You know, see if we can just go and back to the wench where we all started. So, you know. <laughs> so I'll probably have to change my home destination, right? And then, after that, we can probably just, uh, I don't know, go figure out, like, what else to do. Like, where is the story going to take yeah. me now, you know? So we, we know it's Shola. Now and now we know that the like the titans or whatever I don't I, I, the primals are gonna go attack right like the ones like Ravana right yes okay all right so back into town we go I saw that like one moment with the flower girls a big Final Fantasy VII reference though <laughs> like the whole pose and everything. All right, so we go and register the. So if that's a seven reference, what is the Weeaboo Police reference? <laughs> the Weeaboo Police? I mean, I don't know. It's like a, it's more. That's more of like a Pikmin Shrek reference. <laughs> yeah, it's changing our home point. Start visiting the Ethernet. So 
I'm just gonna be going back where, where wherever the thing is. Where is it? Well, I know it's probably on the upper decks, right? So right, let's go here. Oh, not the fisherman's. Dang it! It's not here. Let's go to Hawker's Alley then. I mean, and that's just like five feet away though. So whatever. Okay. <laughs> Like literally, <laughs> we teleported a whole five feet. Amazing. Okay, you're not who I want to talk to. Never mind. It's the future. <laughs> you figure out how to get back to freaking drowning wench. Should be the um, Aft Castle Aetherite. The Aft Castle? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, let me go back to the Aetherite. I'm, I'm probably just not going to go anywhere and down these stairs, so. Oh well. Alright. Oh, this one, right? Yeah. Why are you staring at support? They are nowhere as cool. <laughs> By Jade Coral Salter. <laughs> Alright, so... And we're back! Hi, how are you? I had a whole adventure with stalkers and pirates and shit. Bloody yells! Life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Uh, but you need to worry yourself over young Severin. The yellow jacket is hands out for punishment is a good old mate of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon he'd be willing to commute the layout scenes from Angan to Keelal and gently chant as he is. Oh, and I'm only just with you. I'll see you straight affair. Now it sounds to me like you've done everything we'll stand when I ask you to do. Just find me generous finest in the process. Much obliged, land. God, he just operated. As for reward, well, she's a lovely lady, this drowning wench mine. And she fancy keeping her company for a spell with free room and board. Ventures the trauma business after all. Them is don't rest the bones every now and again, tend up their broken ones. And take it from me, funny, nails so much fun when you're nursing and shining up. Got that? Good. They're all the free man for you, so make you some man. You, you couldn't go into them before? <laughs> Yeah, I was. I, I remember earlier in the stream, where, like, I was like jumping at the gate trying to go in. Yeah. Not that they have much time for lying around, but with all the leaves you be doing. Oh, I, did I mention? I'm pulling your name down for leaves. Our guild draws all men are clients, off and all men are all jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk will pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just get. If democracy is shown whenever you feel like making a few extra gil, she'll always have some desk or other for you to do. <laughs> oh, and it's all my board. In case you're wondering, work careful to stay on the emeralds right side in here. Unlike some pirates I can mention, I tell you, it turns here, right? I had the other to do with them kidnappings. There'll be someone else to pay a proper bleed and reckless. Boy, half that's what limps and knees, though. On rough seas, sometimes you have to rock the boat to ride it. But we'll have time for such a when you're well and rested. Till then, enjoy the Welsh's hospitality. And go have some nice corn, corn boy. Yay, I did it. The recommendations list is now available. Ooh. Currently available in your era. Oh my god, hot singles available? Yes. <laughs> Hot single <laughs> right, let's get stuff done. 
Alright, you saw his little few rats good on you, lad. This blow comes to the other damn plumps, this huge sack the size of a bleeding gobble on the counter. Saying any man that slays rats can have something from within. That sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> damn. <laughs> When I inquire as to why all he says the damn noise they make when screwing about is driving him insane. He asked me though he was already a bit touched. Something tells you the poor lad will never find peace. Oh, I can pick, I can pick now. So I, I, I already have this. Are you kidding? Don't even get anything from it. Right, give me some money. Give me my money. Okay. Right, let's see what's next. How do you do, who turns? Rest and ready to expand your horizons? Well then, I have an idea where you might try to get next. Have you heard of the Skylift out in middle of the sea? If you've ever visited at Road Whisper Canyon, and yes, that is not new with weapons, then you must have been up and down that thing at least once. It's that big bleeding skeleton attached to the scent. Yes, I've been there. Like, that's where all the pirates died. You've likely seen the lay of the lances out there using it to all cargo up the cliff face. Hard labor there, and I hear they could use an enterprise and soil to pick up the odd jobs, what no other bug is ass town to deal with. Track down the head of the operation, look by the name of Wincrit, and they'll be sure to put a young worker to ask to do. Alright. Start to start slaying to new stuff. Alright, cool, cool. Let's set the quest for now. So now, what I want to do, right? So we're on the upper deck. Um, can't do this for now. It's on the lower deck. So I'll go over here, get all this stuff done, right? And then we'll probably just go and uh, uh, see where we go next, back by the bridge. So. This town also gives me kind of like the, uh, like beginning of Xenoblade 2 vibes, you know, like the first area you go to. True. The Xenoblade 2 is so like fucking... Area, right? Yeah. But Xenoblade 2 is so wild, because it's like you can literally teleport anywhere at any point in the story. Like literally like the escape sequence, right, in the beginning, and like you can literally just like... I teleport back home, but you still have to go back to a specific area where you have to fight the boss. Oh my god! Wait, you can teleport back? Yeah, you can literally teleport anywhere at any point in the game. It's so weird. <laughs> oh my god, like, welcome back. It would seem both samples were rather well received, and this is in no small part due to our affable courier. Tis unfortunate, but notoriety accumulated over the course of years does not fade overnight. There's still many... They still, who are hesitant to do business with savage pirates. Yet the old days of piracy have passed, giving way to the new wave of opportunity. My crew and I have decided to embrace this wave. With the Admiral's blessing, we engage in a form of trade with Garlean ships. Everything we do, you may rest assured, is within the law. Yay, we finished another quest. Let's get this one done, because we get like new ship, right? So. Oh, there you are. This is a killed master. Rainer, go away. No, that's all I wanted. Oh my god, like you were returned to me a different man. Already your face shows a harder cast, a realization of the slaughter of which you are capable. But where is much training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential? So enroll your lessons, build your strength, and make each swing an instinctive act. You should have this hunting lock to aid you in that endeavor. Its pages are marked with opponents suitable for owning your skills. There are, of course, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques. But when the way forward is not readily apparent, the lock provides a reliable source of challenges. Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the the Marauder way. And placeable, relentless, such must be your momentum on both the practice ground and the battlefield. Cool. <gasps> Alright, hunting log, nice. Tyrant, you approach me with a Marauder's strength. Determined, unswerving, the bereft of the hesitation that marked our first meeting. I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin a new stage in your training. Now, what sets the axe aside from the gladiators or the dagger? It is the raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. 
and that overwhelming power can only be practically directed by extraordinary physical strength. This becomes the core of this day's lesson. So strength as a marauder must present must is developed through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild. A method that you too shall be taught to employ. Present yourself to Bro and Bar in the practice area downstairs and he shall instruct you further. Whew, okay. Oh my god. Alright, we got her slay log. Toss him to the shark. Oh god. Okay. Where are we going? Speak with Brombar or whatever. It's happening here, honestly. The axe master told me to be on your way. My name's Brawn Bar. Good it is me, a new marauder. Okay, that's fine. That done. Yo, we're back at the Disney restaurant. My God. Tax evaders among our patients, you say? Goodness me. Oh my god, Yoshi's here. <laughs> Leticia. Remember, they said tax evasions among us, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I had to buy- I had to get fresh lamb for you. Jesus, okay. I want- I'm, I want lamb. Jesus. I got this. Is this the same thing? Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Alright, fine. Cool. Cool. Nothing new. Alright, where am I going now? Uh, it's no, like, big quest stuff to do yet, so... Only one's left is in lore, whatever, so... I have to go to the sky left, so... Go on back! Oh man, I, may, maybe I should have kept the fucking farm thing. But whatever, let's just go back. It's fine. Just when you thought we were done with the warping to the farm, like, now we kind of do need it a little bit. More warping. North. 
Going the wrong way. Whenever I like find myself back in like a place where I'm like I've been to like a lot, it's usually just like the theme, the opening theme of Victorious plays in my head. I'm just like, here I am once again. <laughs> Entire cast comes out of the cave. <laughs> like you have the whole Victoria's Dance number, and I mean, like, it, and it would end up being like really like in character because they're all like Final Fantasy classes now. Okay, let's, yeah. let's go. Oh, we're done. I always like just like get immersed in like doing the battle controls. I always just like oh. Or or already defeated the enemy. <laughs> Just swinging at nothing. <laughs> Major and send you out of your duty. Then consider yourself welcome to the Skylift. Look at your bloody cliff, will ya? One blast of fire hill from that huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Car was still needs to get through though. So this mess of wood and police is our solution, our problem. Well, one of them at least. If the gods are kind and they ain't, I'd have about a dozen more workers to handle growing this headaches. Alright. Sky High. Oh my god, I remember watching that movie. Yeah, I got new pants. Nice. Nice. Cool. Glad I want to see you again, lad. A wagon drive just returned a great blood of hurry, screaming about some monstrosity. What sprang out from Millicorn Seedland into this cargo? Seems the gutless bass are cross the river's side, before turning down and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that sand, and deliver it to Lila over to Prussia and Western Lemsia. Whenever he pays, Ace for you, for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't really know what else is lurking inside that planet, and you deserve your reward for your troubles. Oh, and you'll find an eighth right in Swift, but so the journey should be worth your while. Alright, let's take this quest, get her done. Okay, so we don't have anything nearby, so I'm just gonna let us take a look at our map again. Oh, we do have to go north more, huh? Cool. I'm going it's like new territory. Nice. I'll have to do some quest stuff too. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we have to we do have to slay slay these too. Uh -huh. Say, say all these crabs all at once. Nice. Yay! Oh, we gotta slay water sprites too, huh? What? What's that? I was like, okay. It's weird. Oh, I do have to just, like, a couple of these, huh? Alright. Okay, so it looks like I can return these quests first. Let's get that done. And then we'll go and like actually make our way back. Why is it turning now? Oh, oh thank you. Oh, I got my last one, at least for now. Okay. So this is like a... Oh! Oh, this is like a provoke thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's good. Good for when you're attacking. Yeah. Our map, we do have this over here. Might as well turn that in and then do the make our way slowly back. So, oh, okay, let's see. Is it this one, not the vulture territory? It says the buzzard's nest. Did this? I'm not sure. It doesn't really say. Nice. Let's start making our way back up here. Oh, this thing. Oh, we literally just have to recover it. Jesus, huge. 
Oh god. Start playing stuff in. Where do we turn to be? Playing some wood. Where? You have to go way up here? Dang, we're going to like a whole new area. Like Western Lanasia. New town. New town. Alright. Time to head off to somewhere completely new. I'm like completely blind at this point now. A whole new world. My God. Look at that play. <laughs> That in the background. All right, so oh god, are we getting attacked? Run! Yeah, everything's gonna be to over here, right? So it should be fine. Let's make our way. We're gonna be. Checking out the new people. Alright. Really need to travel right now, but. Yeah. Yay! New Aether Rain! So I guess this, this is where we're gonna be, like, staying now, right? Like, this is kind of our new home turf. It's... Mm -hmm. Guidelines. That's us. Huh. Alright. So those are like extra quick quests to get some uh, levels or money or whatever. Oh, okay. Nice. Has now made herself taking this Tesla land. Do I understood they were risking gambling my entire fortune on a crop of million corn? I at least expect that a seedling will be delivered before the sensor struck. Here it is. Is is that my million corn seedling? Oh joyous day! My seem a polisher beginning, but the yield of this particular variety of crop plant is nothing sort of astonishing. As you have undoubtedly noticed, so perch likes a certain, shall we say, Vital Andrew, and thus I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. You, sir, seem to fit to bust with vim and vigor. Might have persuaded a bond a while and help nurture this aid in the settlement. This sounds like an MLM scam. This sounds like a big MLM scam. But I'm, I'll take the stuff though. It's like my leather jacket. Thank you. And it's like your. I like core. Like <laughs> Here you can take my you can take my old outfit. It might it might grow better than what you're growing now. <laughs> oh look at that! Ooh! You there, adventurer! Cast your eyes towards the brewer's beacon. Does the night lock? seem uncommonly weak. It cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ship sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am duty-bound to remain on my post. I could consider it a favor if you can make a visit to the Brewer's Beacon and see if all has fun. Can Swiss, the lighthouse keeper. All these voices are gonna 
destroy my throat. <laughs> I got shit in here. Cool. But we do need... Oh, we're like traveling over that way. Nice. Huh. Do, do, do. What's I don't know what the green circle is supposed to be for. Like something here I need to do, I guess. I don't know. Those are the leave quests. Okay. So, um, if you were to open your journal while you're in the green circle, you can start it. Oh, okay. But you uh. only can do that when you're in the circle. Alright, uh, journal, okay. It's R, means at the bottom. Oh, this one, right? Grabbing craps. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's initiate. Recommended level 4 plus. Recommended level plus 4. Cool. Oh god, what? Is it just one, though? Yeah, it looks like it wants you to just kill one. Is that it? Dang. We did it! Away from <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't want to return to that little bit, no. Oh no. So when you complete them, it asks you if it want if you want to teleport back to the guy who you who gave it to you. Oh, uh, okay. Well we're probably gonna come back there anyway, so whatever, it's fine. Yeah. I always feel like I need to like save the game, but it's like it all it auto saves, right? Like we're in like a final we're like in an MMO, so I mean we're fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're in the fate. We're in the big boy area now. Big boy territory. Hello. You say yellow jacket sent me here. Me light going dim has it. Well, of course, ability has. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. All right. Now they're out of the way here. All right. Cool. The bomb that fuels me furnace has up and buggered off, you see. If I don't get that beacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just the messenger, lad, but I can tell an adventurer when I can see one. But I'm gonna need to chase down that bomb and bring a good claw that you ripped from its smoldering corpse. Take this here, brawn brazier, and set it down in the middle of the flock. Somewhere near the scarecrow, I say, you know, like what you have wore before. I get a nice fire going, and that frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch, you don't see your eyebrows, lad. Like, no idea what I was doing with that voice. Look at this fucking huge ass crab, dude. The fuck? It's treacherous as hell. Old six arms. <laughs> Old six arms. What is this, like, like bio on the right? <laughs> uh. Yeah. All the fates have, like, a little description next to them. Nice. Got the doodos. Some of them are messed up. All right, where where is that fat dodo? Okay, yeah, is this the one that's attacking me? Oh, good. Good, I think we did everything. Oh yeah, okay. Just kinda of did stuff. Destination. Like what does it do? 
Iron Brazier. Oh, so this is a scare. Those are some thick thighs, dude. Dang. Look at that. <laughs> fucking fat ass. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <laughs> fucking god. No wonder nobody wants the crops. They want <laughs> oh, my fucking god. Alright, where is it? Okay, obtain. Alright, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what's. No, it's not what I want. I don't know what this. How do I move? What does it say? Obviously, I know where the map is, but. Torch. Oh, I just gotta do stuff, right? Oh, there you go. Alright, there we go. Now I have to fight this shit, dude. Oh, we did it. Nice. Now I can deliver the Blom... Blom Claw Axis. Nice. City state leaves unlocked. Huh. Um, I mean, this is just like some quick stuff for leveling, right? Something big. Yeah, you don't have to do them. Okay. They're repeatable, so. Gotta figure out where the hell I'm going. Oh, there you are. Alright, so that that one's another one, right? Field hests. Cool. Ah, okay. Alright, uh, let me see. Don't do the bomb plot. Let me go figure out what the heck I can do. So, we're going back over here, right? So, and there's a bunch of stuff over here that we haven't even seen, so. I'll look at this, yeah. Really is a whole new world, huh? Look at that view, though. Like all all that water. Perfect. Uh, walk in. <laughs> Jump from the cliff. An old six arms time has come. My god. Can Swiss, couldn't you pick up less hostile area? Oh my god, fucking get away from me! <laughs> it's just <laughs> happening again! I'm back. <laughs> oh, we're done. Cool. Yay! Here's a claw. Ah, you got the ash master, did you? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep things running for a while. I am myself a bit of a look while he's gone, and the mail will curse me if the furnace weren't all bent and broken. I wonder where the bloody bomb was able to escape. I patched things up as best I could, but I ain't no smithy. You might want to have a chat with the yellow jacket friend of yours and switch perch, and have him pass the word back to someone in Limsa. Alright. Cool. That, uh, look at this view. 
Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking... Fucking buzzards and shit, dude. It's like one of those times where like a chocobo would probably be a good idea, but I don't know. Like, I don't really know how those work. Are they like horses in, uh... Like Zelda? Yeah, you you uh, it's like a mount. Oh, okay. You can ride it, and it's faster than running. Okay. Versus damage, is it? Very well. I shall arrive the relevant reports, but these repairs as must needs be effected without delay. It seems I have another favorite ask you, adventure. Take yourself straight away to the Armorer's Guild in Limsalminsa and explain this situation to Forge Manager Hananza. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we're going back. So I think this is probably a good time to actually get the Chocobo, right? To Mr. 15 uh, Gil! Yeah. Nice! So basically, you ride for two minutes and you pay 15 Gil. Uh huh. Cool. It just takes you that way. You just sit there. <laughs> you can always get it off whenever you want to. Yeah. Do 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 you behind, oh god. I do love this a lot. It's really cute. Slay a crab, save a lad. Oh no, I'm gonna miss the thing, no. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just gonna drop me off here, so. What I'm gonna do, right, is like we're just going back to Limsa. But I do wanna take this other quest then, so. Might as well. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. <laughs> we just got that done, just easy. Alright. Alright, so we're going back to upper decks, so that should be fine. We're back to the wall of text. 
literally an ocean. <laughs> I love how you're like laughing every time at this. It's the best. Like, uh, just a little bit. Every just a little bit. Yeah. I have a decent amount of gill. I don't know if it's like a good idea to do this right now. We're level 16 at this point, so we probably actually just go here and get some stuff. You know? It's level 16. Huh? 17. 12. I stick team as it. So probably gonna want to okay, go with that one. So you could get this. I mean, like, I don't. We don't really need that, right? I mean, that it's, we can get that later. So we don't really have to shop that much. Uh, more gear. I mean, it's not like we really need to get a lot right now, right? Yeah. Mo some, uh, most of the quests give you armor. Yeah. Like especially the, the what do you call it? The Marauders Guild. Uh huh. They, they give you, like, one piece every, uh, quest. And that's, like, every five levels, I think. Uh-huh. Alright. Going up to upper decks. Not a bunch of stuff going on. We have this here, right? We've seen that. And just, let's go over here, turn some stuff in, and then just, I'll be good. Where is this fucker? Ananza. The fur. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at the fucking sunglasses and shit, dude. <laughs> the furnace and the brew is beacon needs repairs. There is that. Bargot's beard. I just sent someone out to tinker with it. Not a week passed. May have the bomb. Um, can Swiss that trapped there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artist and visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the case in that furnace. Your work is done, your adventure. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. Cool. So we got, we got a little bit of gear. Nice. Bronze helmet. Nice, nice. Alright, start gearing up. No more eye patch, just helmet now. Looks like a Viking. <laughs> what say do you taking on some work from Naldeek and Vimelis? We've got a great hulking warship to build and can certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I'll need you to run this missive over to Atbrim, the head shipwright at Marby Tridox. We forge most of the ship space and pieces here at the Armourer's Guild, but actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of Lower Linosia. That's where you'll also find the main offices of Naldic and Vimelis. The Morbi Dryadox is one of Limsa Limits' most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure you'll not regret tuning yourself to the area's Aetherite. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, we'd best serve making use of chocobo porters. First of all, the missing mass, in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate, follow the road south, and may the navigator guide your steps. Alright, so... See, there's nothing really going on this area, right? So we're just going to lower and let us see it then. So, should be fine. Uh, let's see where specifically the map's gonna be. Uh, oh! So we're going to a completely new area then. Huh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we really are just like expanding our horizons now. 
All right, time to jump off. No, no, let me jump, please, please, please. Yay, new territory. This looks like the area in the beginning of uh, Arceus. Kind of, a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Kind of, it's got that path in the, uh -huh. in the hill. Oh, and that giant goo boo. Uh huh. Alright, so I now we're going. Arceus. <laughs> I've not played that game yet. I kind of do want to, like, you know, s try it out. But, I mean, waiting until I get a job. <laughs> it's like I've gotten nothing but, like, ignored from everyone. It's like zero callbacks. Except for, like, from Jules, who I'm still waiting on. Alright, let's get this started. Alright. Come on, Aurelius, show me what you got! <laughs> They're just dead. Dead! Why is, this, why is that music kind of giving me like Kirby vibes? Kind of like fast paced. Like, I think the part, like the violins, kind of gives me Kirby vibes too. Alright, dead! They dead! There's Do's real, let's get some. Alright, so what's over? What are we doing over here? There's some something going on. Oh, here you are, Wistamaga. Bridge too full. Sue the irate coachman. <laughs> what? All right. All right, who needs uh, some free emotes? Where is it? Just like blow a kiss. Just like soothe. Just like, no, no, stop, please. Oh. Right. Then you have to do it too. <laughs> Just like hugging him. Chill, big guy. <laughs> All right, got that done. I'm gonna probably go north of it. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I am. All right, so we are still going this way, huh? Dang, we really are just kind of just traveling around everywhere. So, that's for New Horizons. <sighs> Do you think that eventually when like they close like the server down and like years and years later they'll like have like a single player version of this? Um I feel like they could, yeah, for sure. They're they're slowly trying to make it so that you can do single player with it. Like, that'd be kind of cool, like, hey. just to... Mm. Yeah. It'd be like a Xenoblade game, kind of. I feel like Xenoblade plays a lot, like, just MMOs. Like this. True. God, I got the jackals. The, the views! The views, look at that, dude. 
No, I want to jump. I want to jump. <laughs> oh, you can't jump from that. Such cool diving spot. <laughs> so jumpable. Cause it's a go around, I guess. Huh. Let me jump. Okay. Oh my god, we died from that. You died. No. Shoot. I think I can go revive you. I'm just gonna sit here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> just dead. So you you usually live through falling, but if you're in combat, then you die. Yeah, like if they're chasing you. Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks, Queen. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna launch trial. Oh well. No. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. Just play it through for a while. Be okay. We're in like a whole new town now, though. Yeah, this one's a pretty big town. I think you can go to PvP from here. Like, whenever you unlock it. Uh huh. So, would you say this is a good place to do a home point right now? Honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like the story is taking you everywhere. <laughs> literally. Literally. Like, we went from just being at the farms to being like, here you go, you go everywhere now. Yeah. I thought they were going to continue that zone. But I guess not. You have a mission for me from Unforced Man, Mr. Nonsen. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon pass. Let's see it then. Alright, here you go. <laughs> Why do you talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like, woo. Blast and botheration. Yeah. Another day away. I am well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. <laughs> my apology. Apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? Terrence is it? Well, Terrence, this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory, the first new vessel to waste the dock since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fearful day, but starting with the spirit, we will restore the milestones fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship, it is the symbol of whims of Romance's rebirth from the wreckage wrought on by the coming of the seventh Umbra era. Oh my god, Bayonetta. Thus, they're starting to complete those two instructions as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire will be the wind ship wits from across the Talokwasi. Tawakwasi. You're given with unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to wing at the docks for a time, there's no other end of all jobs for a hard working adventurer. Be your fair warned, there's no place here for whereabouts and troublemakers. Cool. Alright. Get our disciple of war white boots. Our new boots of the fur. Nice. Oh okay. We're all we're all in red now. <laughs> cool. Well, when the Seaborn Hills is that man, now once in twelve moons has he been laid with a sheep, white with a sheep man, and there are two whole tones of the sun without a single word. A sheep waiter of mine, a young man named Fewish Man, recently left 
can you do keep quiet to see if there were crates of supplies ordered from Wheels or means but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Howard Boda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the white door of the supplies we scheduled to collect. The man knows everything, but I so feel we doubt he was telling me to hold two plus after doubt, please. Police. As I cannot leave my post, I would ask you to travel to Kindle Keep Bay in my state and inform Howard Boda that if you consist on playing these games, our personal city is to turtle back I turtle back island. We cannot walk alone in the middle of sea for eternity. Cool. That makes sex. <laughs> oh, foo -foo. Cool. <laughs> you misplaced your. Uh, Mofufu misplaced their uh, packed lunch. Alright, let's go look for this little girl's lunch. It's all on the floor. Open and thrown about. <laughs> Ew. It's fucking nasty. Oh, food would need me when lunch, lunch is back. Oh my god. Pants taller, a few pawns heavier, and a few shades bluer. What? <laughs> okay. Fucking weird. Fucking love this whole like view though, like, really like just the all the white in the pier. Just, oh, oh yeah. Like I'm just imagining like her like sandwich like completely on the floor, just like like I just like sweep it up. <laughs> it's so nasty, all all the filling. It's nice clean tile work. Oh. Oh my god, this guy stole her lunch too. <laughs> Alright, I can't jump here either, no! 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 <laughs> I'm liking this red outfit a lot more than the Shrek outfit though, honestly. Yeah. Break my ankles real quick. Get her lunch money back. Here. Ew, that sounds gross. I got new boots. I, li I literally just got new boots, dude. And now it's an another pair, and not all red anymore. Aw. Bit Damn. sad. Got robbed. Okay, I'm lost in Robbed here. red footed. <laughs> All right, let's go take care of this. We really are just like spending a lot of time in this fucking town though. Where are we going anyway? It's like just map wise. Uh, we are going to. Uh... Over, all the way over here. Dang, like, we really are just, like, going everywhere. It's like, just might as well start going to fucking, like, western area, too. Jesus. Oh, we have to talk to this guy again? Oh, not this guy, the other guy. Yulgi, Penalgi. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I got so much going on, man. Gotta do all this, like, log work now. I mean, like, we're, like, here, so I might as well, like, get it done, I guess, so. Now, what other crap do I have to do? Call, count the fucking planks and shit, dude? Gotta have to climb all the top of your fucking platforming. What do you mean? Let me climb! So let me like fucking get on top of this thing. The hell? Oh. Uh, I mean to- oh god. There we go. Easy. Alright. 
Alright, it's time to get more stuff. Ooh, I'm interested to see what this is. Brand new armor. Oh my god. Damn, we're going like fallen like bondage gear. <laughs> Look at this. Fucking like showing off the the abs and shit, dude. Oh I see. It's Final Fantasy Slut Hours. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh let's close this more armor. <laughs> it's the harness, dude. I'm gonna take like a couple minutes to go like stretch and stuff real quick. Probably be back by uh 3.50. So I'll take a break. Alright. See you in a couple minutes.
หรือฮัลโหลเอ๊ะ There's that self-righteous dog at b r i m Doubt that I've never told him anything less than the truth. Oh, do I have to doubt this guy? All right, give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on here because of the fucking bait here. So let me see. Let me see if I can do this real quick. Oh yeah, press X to d o w I remember now. <laughs> oh, I pushed the, all of the text and the side quests on the like on the <laughs> <laughs> just like over everything. To s a b a k Island, you cannot do that, Kenny. I saw my poor Nana's grave. Investigate the uh, rest of soul. I know not of this fearless m a d e r or his precious supplies. h e s We here at the Quai haven't had enough trouble for these past few suns. What with the sinking of that l i m i n s o n cargo ship on the Salt Island, I haven't had the time to take a proper piss, let alone or make no very s t r i d e that wanders in off the grip. All right, got some new uh, slutty gloves. So here we go! Yay! Interject! Ooh, what is this? Uh, interrupts the use of the target's action. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think that's for like when you can see like the like attacks, right? When you usually have that that range thing, like just when they're attacking. Wait, say that again. So like if when you're like fighting a monster, right, and you see the orange like range thing where it's like they're about to attack in this area, like if you hit them with the interrupt thing, then they get interrupted and don't do it. When they're casting something, sometimes the cast bar starts glowing. Oh. It starts flashing. Uh huh. That means you can interrupt. Okay. That, that move. 
Dang. This is this outfit looks so fucking slutty though. Damn. Love it. Yeah. Well, in the rain. Now, the way I see it, if you have time to be standing there questioning my character, then you most certainly have time to get that RC yards down to the salt strand to help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows? You may just run across the this frills made everyone seems eager to find. Now, here's hoping the navigator has found him first. Cool. Now, we need to go all the way back. It's like. This is like my slutty gladiator gear. Now we do have to go this way. What is that? Ooh. What is that? The fucking spikes and shit? It's giving me like Riven vibes. Oh, there's Frill Mid. Frills Mid. The fuck? Who the fuck are you? Sky. Hey! I'm Furl's Mud. You say the form is wandering about me whereabouts? I thought it might be. But you must know I cannot show me face to the dry docks until I've read the terrible wrong I've caused. Two nights passed. I made the trip from dry docks to Candlekeep Bay, just as the foreman asked. The seas are right enough, and the captain of the cargo ship was very wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs. So I paid a few coins to the fishers to take me out of meter. By the time we were halfway to shore and ship, the swells had risen to nine or ten yams, and it wasn't long before the waves had hold of us. Try as you might say the boat, nature's grip was too tight, and we was flung headlong into the limits and galley. When I awoke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was to collect lay strewn across the salt island. I just made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with queering, and I ain't one with a sword. Now I see why I just cannot return to Nyanox. Cool. I search salt strand. Gotta go on the island. The fuck? That entire exposition. Cool, dude. Cool, dude. A brass helm wheel. What is this area? It's weird. It looks like it's like. I don't know. Alright, what do you want? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, just, okay, let's just let's get started here. Let's so get used to this whole thing. Okay, cool. Oh, I guess this is all salt? Shoot, dude, the fuck? Okay, let me... Just fucking imagine, dude. Like, it's, it's all just like fucking salt. It's all gonna dissolve in the rain, though. Honestly. Okay, let me let me go. Let's go away, my crap. Okay, cool. Got got this unlock. Um, uh, got started. You have to go this way now. So just wander around this weird area here. Those lightning sprites and whatever. Alright. Alright. Oh, we have to defeat all of them, don't we? Shoot. Good. All right. We do have to go over here. See what's going on. 
Oh, do you have to take the three items here and then to see where it goes? That night, I was tossed into the sea like some dog of rags. And it weren't long before the world round me faded the black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells, and I walked to find myself washed ashore, and here I've been ever since, waiting for a chance to have all three masters cargo. Got everything? Easy. These are shit. The missing parts, I, I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away, but first I must stop by the quay so I might repay respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coin. Could you tell Antrim that I'll be back to dive as a child by daybreak? Many thanks, adventure. I will not forget this kindness. Thanks. Yeah. Alright. Now I'm gonna go all the way over here. I do need to get rid of you guys. So. Alright, Aunt Berm. I am relieved to hear that both Fuiz Mead and the supplies are unharmed, though it was foolish for him to believe that I will blame him for that which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to the Dreadnoughts were as calm as a swambling child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Kendall Huip Hue was a so natural sort, and the soul which Sahagin had been known to conjure. Alright, cool, cool. What else do you have for me? Terence, while I originally had doubts about your motives, you have repeatedly proven yourself as an asset to Naldiks and Rumeris. I still do not like you, do not like you, but that does not mean I do not trust you. Kim Thora, a head of the watch here at, at Dwydox, believes the Purvis may be plotting an attack on the victory. She requires assistance investigating the group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. I have recommended you for your task. Despite all whims of women so endured before, doing and following the calamity, the fact that there are still those who turn their backs on the city-state, so that they might widen their pockets with a few handfuls of coin, just the thought of it sickens me. All 
All right, cool. I don't know what to feel if somebody said, I don't wank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I don't wank you. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. Uh, let's get this done. Oh, am I gonna lose my, uh, head? My, like, gladiator helmet? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> my fucking god. At least you got red bandana. Just look like a fucking pirate. I'm just like, like, it just looks so fucking slutty. Like, hell yeah. Ugh. Oh, it's Kimthara! Oh, it's this girl. Ah yes, I had a feeling you'd be the one that had Brimson. Since you first arrived at Marby Dry Dogs, I had my men watch you. Oh, there's no need to get angry. I'm gonna get a point of keeping an eye on all those news in the area. It's simply protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing incriminating was found. You appear to be a model citizen. That and the foreman seems to think somewhat highly of you. Which I must admit is quite shocking. The man doesn't even trust his own mother. I mean, I, I we've met Gimthada. Very well then, I assume the aunt... At BIM had informed you that your task would entail the pirates we believe are conspiring to aid the Drydocks from last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach the men posing on this lost adventure, see if you can somehow learn their intentions, and Kanan go station near the rear gates to provide you with an exact location of the camp. Cool. Alright, another one right here. Storm Private. Terrence! Haha, <laughs> I knew it. No more song sardines for Kanango. Tonight I shall dine on some of the finest salmon in the peninsula. Why? Well, I had a little wager going on with some of the other guards on who Aunt Bim and would recommend for the next job. My money was on you. Oh, the job of Yuffs, of course. If you follow the road past the gates to the southeast, you'll eventually come to the barren cape with a single large stone half buried in the cliff overlooking the sea. Followers of the Twelve say it's a holy place dedicated to Nymea, the spinner. I'd be surprised if the pirates camped up there were aware of that, though. Cool. So, we got more stuff to do with that. I gotta go far east too now, so like, alright, I'm just running around everywhere, so. Man, remember when we were just at the farm and that's it? Alright, what are we doing here? Alright, confront suspicious individuals, got some random shit here. I don't know what's going on with some of those. I think we do need to, like, get rid of some stuff, but. Let's go this way though. Wherever this fucking cliff leads. I don't know, this like uh this game kinda gives me a little bit of like mist vibes. Like the whole like landscape area. Ooh, looks like there's someone here. Disreputable pirate I can't even jump over that cliff, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. I'm giving you to the count of nine to step back on that path and carry your venture in ours back down to whatever rock it is you crawled out from other. You see, your eyes add up to my ears with your type. Roaming the eels like it was yours to roam. It's getting to be that a man cannot enjoy a mug of rum without some shite breath outlander running up asking which is the way to the local left might. Seven and L's if I know. Oh, I'm a bloody pirate. God damn it. Dollars balls. I was once you half me boy back, I am put in this god for a second, piss all of an island so far behind me, and no one will remember I was ever here. Come on, Scraggs, we use knives to sharpen. Alright, we confronted the individuals.
So the trespassers are indeed pirates, and they're indeed planning something. But what is this talk of getting me boy back? Could it be that Chocolate never was the victory? Something's not right, and I won't sit by idly watching for those pirates to make the first move. I shall order increased patrols immediately. Thank you again for your help, Terrence. It appears we were wise to put our trust in you. Yay, I got a new axe. I got brass or something. Alright, there we go. Easy. Alright, what else do you have for me? I am concerned, Terrence. It appears that the pirates I had you investigate are on the move. They creep ever close to the Drynox, so I must assume they mean to target the Victory itself. Off that ship is a symbol of everything Limsa Lamenta strives to become, and I will not allow these base scoundrels to lay a single finger upon her hull. We must apprehend them before they put their plans into motion, and you, Terrence, are just the man to do it. Without your capable assistance, I fear the security of Drydox cannot be guaranteed. Not moments ago, my guards submitted reports of suspicious activity in the area. Pray begin your efforts by listening to one of their accounts firsthand. It matters not whom you choose to speak with, but be sure to question whether Earth's Wiss at the front gate or Commando at the rear. Any suspect saboteurs you encounter during the course of your investigation are to be interrogated. For any and all findings directly to me. Cool. Let's get her done. Speak with one of the guards. Like Probably the one right here, honestly. And then that's it. Hey, adventurer. Glad to have another hand aboard to show up security. The gods know our reports will sit on Aaron Grim Thought's desk, gathering dust for warrant for the assistance of those such as yourself. Speaking of reports, though, I saw one of those mange pirates lurking around the cliff near Empty Heart. I had to take a closer look before he has a chance to cover his tracks. Cool. Let's see where we go. Like, we're literally just, like, wandering around here. Find the shifty-eyed sailor. Nice. Is it gonna be in the orange area? I'm gonna figure it. It's probably gonna be there, right? Victory in peril. <laughs> this is a ginormous arrow. It says, right here! <laughs> Oh, there it is. There's the shifty-eyed sailor. Watching over. Oh, this is where I wanted to jump from. <laughs> Hi. We're merging into each other. My god. Well, you spurred me, did you? Well, you're too late. What's to happen is already happening. Fucking vanished from my eyes. Cool. Now I have to report to Grim Thada. Just let me jump down though. Just let me jump, please. Damn, almost dead. We're good. Oh my gosh, she's like glowing. Girl. Oh no, we're gonna have a big battle, aren't we? Cool. Cool. Oh man. About to be level synced. Nice.
So, you found me one of those pirates, did you? I knew you were right, the venture to Frayed. But what could those knaves be planning? What's happened is already happening. Captain! Uh, trouble at the shipyard! <laughs> Easy now, soldier. Who did this to you? <laughs> Pirates! Out of nowhere! <laughs> Stuck me good! Gods below, we're not prepared for this shit! The pirate soldier, how many did you number? Not sure. More than I could quickly count. Seem to be counting explosives. Oh no. Explosives, and there's no time to lose. Terence, you heard the situation. Make your way to the shipyard and engage those intruders. I'll see this man's wounds, then follow after. Make haste now. Oh, God, I'm so fucking cute. As a fucking slutty ass pirate. Nice. Alright, where the fuck am I going? Like, literally, where the fuck am I going? Alright. Yeah, that's not helpful. Where do I go? Oh my god, defeat the pirates. Okay. I'm just, like, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Never reckoned it'd be this easy. I still don't trust those slimy bastards, but their plan worked like a charm. Duh, what are you doing, you great bloody f Oh, I forgot this stuff. Duh, what are you doing, you great bloody fool? <laughs> oh my god. Shut your trap, cat boy. This a lot bit of a soon. All that's left now is to blow this ugly pile of truck food into splinters. Why would you do such a thing? Have you any idea how important this ship is? What it represents? I am not so what it makes it all the sweeter. Whatever it takes and knocks on sense and me treacherous black stop and sign. Imagine a boy of mine, given that the pirate left to become a shipwright. And Bill in the bleeding maelstrom vessel at that. What under will Limlane's blind green ocean made to take up with his self righteous shites? You're the one with no bloody sense, da. Don't you see? The pirates had their glory days, but that era's over. <laughs> I wonder why I've been nervous about his father. I never restart. Really He's so ugly. <laughs> The ship's a symbol, all right, of everything that went wrong with the world. And I mean, it shattered to a hundred thousand pieces. <laughs> Gimdar, Terrence, play with the toe out this boarded seas work and make sure no harm comes to victory.
Oh shoot. We have to like actually defeat everyone else now. <laughs> oh dang. Yeah. It's weird because I feel like I expect like to have like the fucking like like rep repetitive lines like they do with uh in a lot of the other fights. Oh. Well I thought uh, you oh I think you're a part of my team. <laughs> Like... Yeah, the green people are your team. Okay, I was like trying to beat my own team members. Imagine if this game had friendly fire. Kidding, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I must be getting old. Let some good adventure get the best of me. Duh. That's one big bloody ship. Big and nasty looking. You made that, did ya? It's fucking dead. My thanks, Towins. I shudder to think what would may have become of the victory without your intervention. The pirates have made a weight mess of things. I'd best get to sorting out the docks. And my thoughts could use some sorting out as well. Ever did my folder have a way of turning my life up, my wife off his down? Why you convey my thanks and my apologies to give daughter. I feel like like Ishtola's gonna like show up again at some point, just being like, I was stalking you. I was stalking you this entire time. <laughs> How fair are you, Terrence? I cannot, I cannot begin to thank you for the war we played and preventing this madness. You defended more than a simple ship. You saved the budding hope of Limsa Lamensa from a violent demise. The day was yours. It seems our security regiment will require much in the way of improvement if we are to truly keep the dry docks safe. I promise apologizes. Well, I suppose I can understand why he feel responsible for his father's actions. While he's involved, since it was hardest on him. But in time, I believe he'll come to a single conclusion. The most fitting way of moving past his anguish is to see the victory completed and in the water. Ah, by the by, the pirates you defeated have been handed over to the Yellow Jackets. Rainer's men will be taking over the investigation. Before the Yellow Jackets moved in, however, we recovered the most unusual object. Should have the time to spare, I want to ask you of another favor. Cool, yes. Yay, we got some more shit. Parents, in light of your role in recent events, there are a few others whom I would entrust this task. Since we last spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of At Seven, the part behind the plot to sabotage the victory. This missive was penned in the most usual, unusual script, a script we believe to be some manner of code. Needless to say, anything which a prudent enemy of Limsa Minsa deems worthy of enciphering is to be great interest in the maelstrom. Unfortunately, none among us... Among us can make any sense of the message. <laughs> In cases such as this, I am told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn to Badron and his convenient connections. Thus, I would have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. It was hand and no other do you understand. Yeah, we're going back to the fucking In Limsa now, so that's cool. Going back to the fucking. Going back to the fucking. It. Uh, it's probably fast if we just go. Right? Might as well, because we have like stuff on the way too, so. Alright. A bunch of shit going on here. Oh, we can take the su suspicious amount. I don't remember what that's supposed to be, right? Is it the. Oh, it is this, huh? 
Oh wait, that's shit, shit to do. Alright, still got more shit, god, okay. Are you done? Alright, cool. Alright, yay, got more stuff to do. I think maybe we'll kind of go to the west side, see what's over there, and then probably go start heading north. So, start heading back. God, it sounded bad. It's fucking breaking my legs. God, go away. Leave me alone.
Sí. Use the lightning sprite core. I don't know what that is. Hmm, it looks like you have to defeat a specific enemy. Maybe it'll come out if you kill the crap. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Like <laughs> oh, I have to find another one. Sus, sus, sus. Yeah, we finished. All right. So we can go back, just finish this up, right? And then we'll start heading back to Lipsa, so. Fate failed! Oh god! <laughs> Failed our fate. What the? Okay. I, I thought we couldn't jump over the wall and I was like, are we fucked? But <laughs> we're all fine. Alright, that's gonna be it for that one, right? So all I need to do is start heading back. I always feel like it's like the outside area outside of Limsa is like always kind of empty except for like a couple players, right? For like going through the quests. And everyone's just in the plaza like doing their like own Shrek party. Yeah. Alright, so, or whatever this is, it's just going to do much for me, or this one. 
What would you recommend, like critical hit or like the strength, vitality, dexterity? Um, probably the strength one. Okay. Because because berserk already gives you the critical hits, right? So. Oh, okay. I'm still looking at this like red jewel thing that's in kind of the right of the screen. I'm not really sure what it is. Which uh, edge of the screen? Uh, like it's covering up the quest text. Oh, that? That's the. Uh, that's your tank um, icon. So that also tells you if you have your defiance on. Damn, I don't even get anything from this. Okay. Alright, give me my money. And give me more quests, I guess. I think you can move it if you go to the HUD layout. Oh yeah, I guess you can. It might be in, like, the pause menu. Yeah, I guess so. It's kind of cool to look at, though. Oh my god! It's like, look at this. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. Beast cage. And then you can probably just, uh, sit. Probably just do, what, 80? Should be fine. Would simple... Would simple mode be a good idea to... Huh? Uh, that's if you want to. It just changes it to, like, icons instead of, like, a picture. Mm, I think we'll... I think that should be okay. Oh, we'll save as simple, though. Probably change it back a little later, but I mean, just wait. Right. There's a bunch of stuff in here, so I might as well go in. Just like trying to think about, like, like are we just kind of in this weird. This doesn't look familiar to me. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably like. Oh, yeah, because we're like. Trying to figure out where we are. You're on the bottom half the entire time. Oh, okay. Now you're in the top half. Yeah, this place doesn't look familiar at all. Might as well, like, accept stuff, though. That's where I am right now. Is like, oh, we're over here. Okay, so we just have to go west then. So I kind of just wander around this area. We don't really need to be around, but I mean, that should be fine. Yeah, Limsa. Let's go. Not really trying to get a bunch of quests here, but come back later.
Oh yeah, this is where you were, huh? Yeah, that's how you um, entered. Oh, I should be fine. I, I can find my way back, so it's okay. So I do think I want to actually go over here and like maybe finish some stuff. So work on some quests and then. Damn, we fucking destroyed them. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Okay, back in Limsa. It's a lot. Sh it's surprisingly shorter than I thought it was, but it's a long way. Ugh. Okay, where are we going? Going all the way. We're back, yeah. We're back up here. Limsus. Limsus, Limsus. Here. Back to home base. Alright, do you have anything new? It's just the same old stuff. Well, well, the mantle of adventure does not drape so awkwardly from its shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved in some darkened dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies, as such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus, we did construct the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to prepare you for those differences. The hall can be found just north of Alport and western Lanasia. Within its halls, we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Nice. We're not doing this yet, but looks cool. What else do you have to say? According to my records, you have yet to fully complete your training, as you are under no obligation to finish the final exercise, of course, but there is much to be gained and not to be lost in the attempt. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, nice. Alright, we'll do this a little later. Well, I'd rather work on the story stuff, though. So... Fish glory days, get that done. Soon shall be said an adventure might be dropping but deliver something special. The you led I else lad, you didn't have to go through all this trouble. <laughs> this god's damn smell. I faded over the umbrella since I was a sellsword. This is the only nasty shot I ever put in my mouth. We tried sprinkling with salt and cooking over a campfire, but it was still a little better than chewing on driftwood. Try for yourself, like you see what I mean. Alright, what do we get from this? Nothing. We get absolutely nothing but money. Give me my money. Ahoy there, Terrence. I've been hearing about your deeds of the dry dogs. I'll um, laid out the entire tale for me. Poor Zod was so real and had his old man's part of the business, but at least he kept the victory from being sung before she sailed. And for that, I owe him a thanks. You've really made a name for yourself in limbs, lad. Folk know 
all that when they need someone doing. Now you need someone doing, and what my other boy? Here. You want someone to read a message with f in four letters for you? And Grim thought I thought I know my know my aunt is good. Uh, well, let's see it then. Hi. I reckon I might know a candy bar when we so like this ugly song by the name of Bodron. You know, you're like on miraculous no turns. You've never let me down yet, and never get rid of me, I reckon I can trust you. Kim thought it was right to want this message to suffer. Forgot us some trouble brewing here, and no mistake, correct for action, and I'll explain. Good to have you aboard, lad. Now then, where to start? Back when I was younger and last year, I would be living as a sill sword. And in that business, if you want to know what your animal was up to, you had to learn to read the orders to price from the cold dead hands of his mites. That's how I came to I know how to read your message. Trooper told the strip was too blood familiar. Them so high ladders line. And I should know I've got more fish back mustards than I can count. It gets worse though. The plan of love the victor is all there. Right down to the fond tales. Looks like they meant to raid eight kinds of hell and I still on the sea. Then at the Maelstrom's new flagship in the confusion. The bomb band, the attack only ever warned in the act of fear of Bell's pirates, which was a key part of some of the candy bears to grant plan. But if I'm reading this alright, the deck itself came much too early. I'll wait the manic when they saw he was on and them, rushing to the job, and boogered it up. The tattoo face bastards, as they say, was Baron Aprim's old man. They're with Surfer Reavers, right? But none of the crew was there, was they? Did they have someone better to do or what? Seven nails, I've got it all backwards. That mess at the big tree, that was meant to be the bloody distraction. The fish makes an interest in the mousetrooms, baby. They're after man, just like they've always been. And they're gay as hell. They're sending their pirate lackeys after a civilian target. We're about to have a fu fucking furry party coming out. Now this ain't, ain't bit about racing out on western on the sea. That's where it'll be. Someone tells us the swift perch is about to get it, and it hard. Here's a rough translation of the message. There's gonna be a big for a convention and in Western Lanasia, I think it's gonna get wild, bro. It's gonna go real wild. Take it to Commodore Rainer at the Coral Tower and tell him he's in for a busy day. Oh and give him a hand, eh? You can be damn sure I'll need one. Alright, <laughs> 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 okay, so we're going to Western Lanasia, back where I've got the stuff, right? Oh, we actually do have to go up north here first, though, so let's work on that, get done, alright? <laughs> Everybody that talks like they're drunk, ooh, ooh, or valley girl, or pirate. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that guy had so many apostrophes in his <laughs> beach bubble. Literally, though. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Let her be the old noggin. And I got some real furries coming out. Uh, 
have something going on. Or is it? Wait, I don't know what's going on. Oh, because they're... Okay. There we go. Yes, I am Rainer. Uh, you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part in thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? You bear an urgent message from Badaran. Why do I get the feeling that my hopes for a quiet afternoon are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is afoot? An assault on Swift Perch, but we've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Badron is rarely wrong about such matters. He's just drunk as hell, but we trust him, because he's always right when he's high. I'll march the Yellow Jacks for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Badron's assessment that the attack on the Drydox is intended as a diversion, so purchase but one but of but one of several possible targets of the main thrust. That's a euphemism. <laughs> Commodore, sir. Report. It's the Sahagin, sir. They've mounted a large scale assault on South Tide Gate and threatened to overwhelm our defense within a day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the Nav Getter, it seems my decision has been made for me. Must the truth and give the order to march. Ah, uh, the Serpent Reavers are in league with the Sahagin. Which means there's every chance this assault on Tide Gate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it and leave Switch Perch Funnel to those pirate traitors. I like that this guy has fucking, like, white Lucario pants. It is at times such as these that I wish that the Warriors of Light yet walked among us. <laughs> Why, among us? <laughs> <laughs> but wishes will avail us not. Tarantula, you must serve in their absence. Make for swift perch with all haste, and lead your search for the squads. I can prepare for the settlement's defense. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Lucario pants. Alright, so we're going back to Western Lenicea. Is this where is this literally like where we had stuff? Okay. Wanna take a look and make sure we don't have any big quests here. We do we literally have no quests in this area? Maybe. I think we have stuff in Western though, definitely. Yeah, it's just the I don't know if it's just the one. Let's take a look. So how many things do we have here? We have stuff in lower, that's not really where it's important. So, let's go and return where we're going. I knew it would be useful to have this. Yes! Alright, so where the fuck are you? Here we go. Rissler. Commodore Reiner sent word to begin reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You've seen you look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for here? This place, Swiftworth, was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship that calamity threw their way. Hey, I would not about to let some fish fancying scum limb the armor, being the ones who finally broke their spirits. It's no, I won't give those power bastards one bloody hell, you hear me? Got another battle, man. It's another battle. She's about to be wild. Here they come! Like these fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I thought all them Yellow Jacko worms were meant to be busy. Though. You should scrag and follow the plan, is he? No one! For Brooklyn and for our Sahaku brothers! <laughs> Piss on that. We didn't turn back empty handed. <laughs> Remember, no killing the small folk or be your blooded students, Lord Leviathan's altars. 
It's so fucking slutty. I like their outfits. The yellow bell, she, the yellow bells can butcher will. They're dirty and slow as we crush on the full mire of the serpent rivers. Same switch for it for the main target after all, eh? Squad 1 and 2, protect the tails from Squad 3, our rear guard! <laughs> Do I see you? We may not charge where we stand! Thus, we're the common award of victory and no war at all! For them, sir! I think he's wearing the pants you're supposed to have. Oh. Uh, oh. All good, all you yeah, ladies and dance on our gizzards! See, I really is fucking presenting, though. <laughs> Holy shit. And frickin' big ass boss fight. But the rivers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but they're maybe more than lurking about. Still near your guard down just yet. Oh my god, it's Van Daniel! Van Daniel's back. The source for strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. I feel like this has to be some like Fan Daniel like ripoff though, right? Oh mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thralls command, so that I may smite mine enemies. Your very being impairs the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Okay, whatever. Why is the dragon guy kinda hot though? My look. Okay, let me let me start, get shit started, alright.
Oh, Stola's here. She's still is back. She's been stalking us all along. We all knew. My god, we killed Van Daniel. The, the wisdom of the paragons we brought low by me mortals. Paragons, did he say? Let us as I fear. They are known as bringers of chaos or ashes to give them their proper name. It will seem my suspicions were correct. It is they who are manipulating the beast traps. Ravana's gonna attack. Any day now. Potter, you would know if we shall have counted Ashens before. I have never spoken to you in my homeland. I need no words to hand. Wait, I have to begin to say you can place a special gift. The gift of being a creepy ass stalker. Even though I've been stalking you longer. So <laughs> Are you alright, lad? If I had known me and Burger like that was hiding the ashes, I would have a squad of six to keep me company. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation at your close. Those heroes are the ones spiriting folk away in the dead night. This bastard is putting all the strings. I try for some plastic but not accurate. I came as soon as I sensed the presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. You already prevail? And thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned such. Ah, uh, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been their friend. And your sense of much vision too, Lady Stola. I hear. Please give our regards to the science. I am glad to have played a role in bringing one here. My hope is an answer to this sermon span of abductions. The three of your frame forms behind the most intriguing tapestry. May happy only afford a chance to speak more than your future. But now, however, you must see this particular tale to its confusion. Pray that my grace come to rain. <laughs> Crystal of Darkness. Alright, now we can go back to fucking Rainer, so. So it's fucking wild, dude. Right. So right now we are in Middle Lundesia. Well, not in Middle yet, but start going, so. Where's the chocobo keep? Give me some chocobo. Take me to Limsa.
All right, I think it should be good for now. So, go and turn on some quests real quick. Get back to Lumsa. So. Yeah, finished stuff. Uh... I started making my way back up. Here we are, back at home. I go see the upper decks. Start getting that stuff done. They're still here. I look at them. They're still here. Oh my gosh, just a massive full lot of players. I mean, look at this, dude. The fuck. And bunnies and shit. <laughs> God. So we're heading up north, getting that done, so should be good.
Here is Rainer. Tarantula, eagerly have I awaited your return. Word of your exploits is already spread through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great debt of gratitude for your timely assistance. You have shown yourself to be possessed of a sure arm, strong spirit, and sound judgment. With that, limits the limits ahead, warrior, if you like. I have little doubt that you shall one day rejoin the ranks of heroes' greatest adventurers. It is but a matter of time. Clearly, by own eye, potential remains as sharp as ever, though I don't even he imagine you are capable of such feats. Might you favor me with your own account of these events? Such victory is very telling. I'm, I want to. I just want to call Rainer like Lucario pants from now on. <laughs> Ishtol has been working for us for quite some time, you see, and she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping investigation, proving herself a stellar ally of Lin Slaminsa yet again. Needless to say, after your predatory and the attempted sabotage of the victory, and the small matter of your deeds at Swift Bridge, you two have proven yourself a valued friend of the telesocracy. Admirable! Oh my god, is that fucking go oh, it's oh my god, it's fucking her! It's fucking the girl with the gun! It's her! <laughs> it's her! May I present to you Admiral Blos Blofuswin? So, this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. I am Melvid Blufiswin, Admiral of Minsalominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. of our gratitude. What worth is high regard without just reward after all? Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahadi. Oh! <laughs> A seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero. And some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, we got $220 for that. Yay. Untradable uh... items. Okay, so let's take a look at everything so far, see what we can do with recommended stuff. Ooh, new ring. Nice. Alright, let's see what else we can do. I'm not sure you understand just how unusual it is for the Admiral to invite an adventurer to a state banquet. It is a highly coveted honor, why even the officers on her direct command are really afforded such recognition. But I'll deny. I will not deny you've earned it. Many of the tasks you performed in service to the Telosocracy have been both difficult and dangerous. This is a reward for all your efforts. A nod to your many achievements, both large and small. As the enormity of the moment yet to sink in, perchance you will realize its significance when you stand before the assembled dignitaries of Limsa Lominsa. And now that I have imagined the scene, I realize that you will require a suit attire suitable for the occasion. You cannot be looking like, like a slut pirate all day and every day. I suggest you visit the wench and see what Badaran can arrange. She's surprisingly knowledgeable about such things. <laughs> just imagining hang Lucario pants just like slut shaming me. <laughs> like, do you even know what you're 
wearing, bro. <laughs> you know what you're wearing, bro. Oh. You can't come into our feast looking like that. Well, well, but hey, Merle Webb's guest of honor. I'm not with the eye of modern, how is it? I tell you, man, I damn near snorter. Well, I'm a nose higher than news. You come a long blood away, yeah, but that's the truth. Well, one thing's for sure, you'll want for decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding beast, Mark no less. Tis a grand chance, Philly bread bursting with fine, or more importantly, free food. But we can't have you turning up in your shot cake venturing gear. Too much of a slut. No, the year or the hour needs to have a touch of refinement about him. If only to stop for complaining when he stuffs his face with cake. Take yourself over to an octagon and speak to Janelle some more than Brigadier Consortium. So far as shit with a summer gentleman need to wear. I've already had a word with her, so all you need is pick up the goods and bring them back here. So I, as I can tell you what's what. Can't be having a man's as fine as looking like a total slut now, can we? Alright, time to go to lower decks. <laughs> Tired of everyone slut shaming me <laughs> while they're having a Shrek party out in the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, sir. I'm soon. I assume you are the underdressed gentleman, but Adron mentioned, yes, a total slut. I see he's not exaggerating. <laughs> um, I've chosen you specifically for your debut in polite society. Fear not, I'm certain you'll absolutely adore them. All right, where are we going? Wait, oh, we're going back to upper decks. Yay, it's time to not be a slut anymore. Time to be a dapper gentleman of high or fine quality. And this is and this is like how they teach you to do glamorous and stuff, right? Kind of? Kind of? They don't really teach you glamours per se. They just tell you about things you can wear. Oh. Uh, I like the shoes. We will see a dream show, have we? Let's have the monks then. There we go, a nice pair of dress shoes for you. I blocked my. I didn't have much else to his name, but so long as he's got a decent pair of shoes on his feet, there ain't nowhere he can't go. Think of him as a gift from me and all the other fuck you did around on the way. Oh yeah, this a fair move and just around now. Just don't go well up on me, eh? Won't do for limbs this new year and turn up at the back of my stone and his own tears and snot. Hey, bro, well, that's your gobs, you know it. Now I just need to sell your nerves. Now when you're ready, tell me where you're meant to go. And fucking cry. <laughs> and she pants, maybe. Alright, uh, let's see. So, uh, what was that that I was given? Like, some shoes or something? Okay, I was seeing something yeah. here. It's obviously not here. Sorry, that's not right. Is that all they gave me? The dress shoes? Oh, uh, can't be wearing those shoes there. I, I just put them on. Am I supposed to? Yeah. Or is that like a glamour thing? They literally just give you the shoes and that's it. Oh my god. 
You can keep everything else, but the feet, uh-uh. It's too slow for us. Look at that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that honestly looks more slutty. Looks more slutty than before. Look at that. Fucking, like, I hate the crotch. That's just, like, like highlighted right there. You're worried right, then, are you? Good, the bank will be strong soon. If you'd wait any longer, I'd consider them to see what you did. You overheat and drag you there, even though you were waiting five seconds to change shoes. Now, make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you're trapped, alright? Karen, what do you know good? They're meant to make you look a gentleman, whatever not a gentleman's bleak and lacking. And guess for directions, the face being on the bridge, and the animal's brief on the room. Just walk past all the Shrek stuff, alright? Speak with this anthem on the board, girl, and it'll show you the way. Keep that in line, lad. After everything you did for Lampsy, you have good reason to be proud. And don't let no way a boy bugger tell you different. I do gotta go lower decks. Just run back and forth. At least we're wearing them, right? Yeah. <laughs> and again, it just looks sluttier than before. Dress shoes! Fancy dress shoes! An adventure in fancy dress shoes! I know those are some fancy treasure shoes. Come on, Venture, I'll show you to the briefing room. There's the Stola, creepy stalker. Nothing like a complete slut still. I fucking love her boots though, iconic. Brothers and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. Yes, Queen Slay. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are called the Pirates and Madmen, who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote to the Scott is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curves. an extraordinary glow. Yeah, you like it? It's my I like showing off my all my skin at this really formal event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the crystals of light. By the navigator. After our encounter with the Gugu, you had a vision, did you not? Of a towering crystal. Bathed in her light. The Ashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations. Whatever, she's chosen thousands of people too, it's fine, including the Among Us users. <laughs> not Among Us. Like you, they were not of these lands. Yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the 
violence. When the Galleon Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Aeorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartanum, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. But whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. We're gonna like stalk uh, Marlweb and her mind, or like we did with the Stola. Mayhap. Oh my god, it's the bee girl. Didn't I draw that guy too? Yep. Bid him hold that position though it costs them their lives. He's like partnered up with that one law file. Connie Senna! It's Connie Senna. <laughs> Remember when I called her Clowny Senna? No! <laughs> no, now I'm just thinking of that fucking, like, cursed fucking balloon girl from Ace Attorney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did so you just, just die right there? Barbaria <laughs> won't go down so easily. I forward. We are being watched. Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. Gods preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. Gods damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Damn it all! 
the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Schwab. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Suave. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back, effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All planes are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? to take our place beside Archon Louis Suave. To your positions. Like one of them's Fandana and the other one's the guy who like fuses with the girl to become Eden's promise. I'm even wearing pajamas, just wearing my slutty clothing, my dress shoes on, born of sunshine, all been bush for you, was it? Damn, I look good, dude. Play fun. What happened? Ah, oh, you don't ramble then. You killed over the middle of the banquet and caused quite a story. I had to stir. I had to carry back the winds myself. Lost the carry. Twas more man or dragon or rolling. Too much cake, I reckon. Damn, don't fucking fat shame. Hey, bro, don't worry. At least little water you was exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Your little lip seems to put some color back in your cheeks, though. So I'll leave you to it. Booker, I almost forgot. The Amber wants to have a word with you. When you feel up to it, talk to some Daniel and he'll leave you in the command room. Oh, stay away, okay? I'm all. Told old Merle about some little telling you a story when he inserts me last time and I thought she'd look good if you read the trick.
Oh my god, half price! It's on the new Final Fantasy items. Oh my god. Ooh, an armoire. Oh, here's the glamour dresser. Oh no, I've not unlocked it. The an unending journey. Oh my god, the never ending story, I love that movie. Can I change my like shoes now? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. it's fine. It's fine. Oh, well, that's nice. I have like, my own like just set up here, you know, like until I get like a house, I guess. A summoning bell. Yeah. And a crystal bell. Alright, so uh, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. So I'll probably be back by like 5.50. I actually gotta go. Oh, okay. Yo, yeah. Uh, all right, then we'll just uh, finish up stream then. So, yeah, it was really nice to have you and just hang out. It's a pretty good place to oh, stop yeah. too. So. Yeah. Yeah. This this has been fucking wild though. Like just experiencing like the story, seeing everything that I went through, and like all the characters I drew too. It's like it's wild. Yeah. Like iconic, truly. You're gonna, you're gonna start meeting them all. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think about like what I want to see the most. I want to I want to know who the red cat boy guy is, and the guy who has like the cards, right? That I drew as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah, there's so much stuff that I'm like really want to see. Like I I just want to meet like everyone, and I need to know who the twins are too, because they were just they just showed up and then they vanished. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it, it's kind of weird that they just um, I didn't even think about it but yeah they show up in the first cutscene and then you never see them again, <laughs> so whenever they show up again. yeah that's crazy yeah thank you so much for coming on to the stream dude yeah no problem all right if any more <laughs> will happen yeah i'll see you next stream then yeah all right all right talk to you later see you bye